Hi, welcome back to the One Space Pinza series. In the first episode, I explained that why we would like to play a pinza and why we like to play a One Space Pinza instead of other types of pinza. I will first introduce the most basic variation in this episode, which is the free free innovation and then block here. If we just consider the shape here, it is always better to divide the enemy stones at this point instead of playing this move. We will only block this way when we think the value of the left hand side is bigger. Usually, when there is some stones to cooperate with, then we may try to block this way and to make an influence here. This is because when we take a look at this shape, it is like the free free invasion and then white choose to jump here. This then black choose to play a pincer here. This is a strange move. And as a result, black will not get a very good result. Just consider the shape. It is a situational draw set key. And in most of the cases, we will choose to block this way. I will explain two basic draw set key, two situational draw set key, and one check move. After this block, in this episode and the next episode, in the future episode, I will explain this block in the Sun and Set, the three star opening or the double star opening. So let's start. I think most of you know the first basic Joseph key, which is this one. Black has 37% of win rate now. This is the best variation for both sides and Black's win rate is a bit lower. As in this situation, AI actually will recommend Black to play something like the D or like the jump, but I will explain this in the future. But we could know that this Jota key is not bad for white. Has white get an influence? Maybe in the middle game, it would be more common for black to play the free free invasion instead of other types of move like the double approach or jump. But at the beginning stage, influence is valuable. And although the free free invasion would not be a bad move, certainly would not be a bad move, but at least in AI view, it's not the best as influence would be a bit more valuable than points. But in the middle game, it will be very common to play this. And very reasonable too, as points will become more important in the middle game. So this will become the first basic Jota key. Before we have AI, we usually prefer the cornet instead of this retreat. So we will place this Jota key. Indeed, in the past, professional players have argued this problem. Which would be better? The cornet or the retreat? The professional players argued that the cornet is better as if white retreat. There will be a cutting point here. So, for example, after black have this stone, then this cut will become very reasonable, and black may capture the three white stones like this. This will become a very obvious defect for the white stones. And there is also another problem. For example, if black has one stone here, then black may play something like this. This tech, this tech is very severe for the white stones. If we play the cornet, we won't have a cut point here. And also, similarly, this tech will not be effective as white could just play here and black could not connect back. 
So because of this kind of problems, the professional players in the past actually like the cornet more than the retreat. Although the professionals know that this claim for black would be very annoying for the white group. We knew that. So we have many research about how to deal with this claim. But overall, we have a wrong idea that the cornet will be a better move than the retreat. But after we have AI, it became very, very easy to analyze a shape because AI just gives us the answer, give us a win rate. And now we could easily judge that, oh, actually this retreat is better. It's 4% better. If white play the cornet, white will lose 4% of win rate. And this retreat will become a better move. Why this retreat is better? The reason is the clamp I have just mentioned just now is really annoying. And moreover, there is one mistake for the professional players, which is that before professional players argued that there is a cutting point here. But now we know that this cutting point is not scary because these three stones are not valuable. White could sacrifice it and to make a very good shape here. This shape is good enough. So, this cutting point is not important. And as a result, the retreat could help White to get a stronger and thicker shape. And we will play the retreat now. So this would be the first basic Joseki. The another Joseki suggested by AI would be a knight move now. Without exchanging this Hane and Cornet, Black directly play a knight move here. This move means that Black keep the right to play the Hane and Cornet because in most of the time Black could play this Hane and Cornet. This will become a center. But Black keep the right and why Black keep it? Because in the future Black may play may not play this Hane and Cornet and choose to play the diagonal move to divide the two white group and to make a fight. This is a funny move because it somehow makes sense. Why we should give us the chance to playing this escape? This escape would be strong in some situation, but we seldom see advanced player play this variation. Why? Because this would become a strange choice in human perspective. We like to analyze Chosaki by reversing the sequence and we could see something like this. White play a free free invasion and then black play a simple Chosaki here. Then white choose to play a very intense attack here. This move looks really strange. And black play the repincer. This is this move looks fine, but these white stones look quite strange. And for human, this is not a reasonable choice of Jozaki. But reversing the sequence is only a theory. I will tell you the real consequence of this choice. Firstly, after the Hane and Cornet, we actually could play a jump here. But if we just play now, we could only play the knight move. Because if we try to play jump now, then this Hane will become very strong and there will not be any good move for the black. For example, if black try to block, then this push and cut will become very strong. Black Cornet, white extend, and white could block both sides and make a good influence. This is not successful for the black as black's corner is very small only. So black may only choose to play a uh, cornet and white could play something like this. This is not a good choice for the black. So black only play the knight move. If we could play a jump, 
it is always better to play a jump, not only because we have one point more, but this move also has better influence to the left hand side. So the first consequence is that Black could now only play a knight move instead of jump. The second consequence is that it is quite hard to know when is the best time to play the Hane and Cornet. But if Black lose the chance, then White may play the Hane and Cornet. After White play this Hane and Cornet, then White will gain a lot of points. So there are both pros and cons for not exchanging this Hane and Cornet from the real point of AI. AI think Hane and Cornet would usually be the best choice, but this is totally acceptable. But for human, I really seldom see professional players to play this variation, but you may try it to keep the right of escaping this Blackstone. And if you like to fight a lot, this will be a choice you like. So now I have explained the two basic Joseki. Now I will explain the situational Joseki. The first one is the variation aiming for the center. The two basic Joseki I just mentioned it. Black will lose a center. For example, black will play here, then white will play elsewhere. Similarly, if black play this one, white could also get a center. So, could Black try to get the center? And actually, this the climb. Before AI, I have learned that it is possible for Black to climb one more move here and then exchange the Hane and Cornet. And then I will Tenuki and play elsewhere. The reason to exchange one more climb is that this block is not a center. Because if we don't climb one more move, we exchange directly now. Then this block will become a center for the white. Black need to make a live shape. This will become very painful for black as white could block this side in a center. So, we have a uh, improvement is to climb one more move. Then, now black could play elsewhere and this no longer a center. However, this is not a good choice. If black play this variation now, black only has 18% of win rate now. Because this block is still too valuable. After black play elsewhere, this Hane and Cornet is still a center, and black need to play one more move here. There is only 5 point left for the black at the corner, and white get a very very strong influence here. It is not acceptable for black. What AI suggested for Black will be climb even one more move. Then no matter White play a Hane or White play an Extend, Black could get a center. This time, Black could get a center. This block no longer a center. Similarly, this Hane and Cornet will also not be a center. Then this will become acceptable for the Black. Now, black will have a win rate of 32%. Uh, of course, not as good as the basic shape because this is only a situational Joseki, but it is possible if you want to get a center very much. Also need to notice one theory, is that if you would like to play a jump now, then this is not good. If we want to play a jump, we will play a jump as soon as possible. We will play a jump as soon as possible. We won't like to climb one or two more moves, then play a jump. We know that hundreds of years ago, for example, this draws a key. We know that 
if Black could jump, Black will jump as soon as possible. If Black wanna send her, then we will try to climb one or two more moves, then we will try to Tenuki and play elsewhere. But we won't play many climbs and then jump. Because each move of climb, we only gain two more points. But White could get a bigger influence that probably have more than two points of value. We won't do that. We only will choose to jump here now, jump at this basic shape, or to prime two more moves. Then get a center. Lastly, I will introduce an other situational Joseki. Let's see. Do you know? Where should we play when white pincer stones is very thick now? Like at this moment, the bottom side is a very strong shape. Where should we play now? Let's make a guess. Okay, let's review the answer. The honey at C2. White will choose this Hane, then black block, white connect, black jump. Very straightforward. Afterwards, we will play an extend, and black will play the diagonal move. Be careful, don't play a wedge here, because this wedge will make white lose not only lose one core threat, but white will lose one liberty too, and so there is no any benefit to play this wedge. Just play the extend. It's good. Then black will play the diagonal move and this extend will still be very valuable. Black play the extend and white hane and black extend. This will become a Joseki. White may also choose to play a knight move here but I, I prefer this a bit more. So why white may play this Joseki. For this shape, black has a much stronger influence to the left hand side because this is a very thick shape. And on the other hand, there is also some defect here like the pip. So why white may play this Joseki? Seems there are no big benefits for the white. Actually, the benefits are the points at the corner. If we just consider the points at the corner, this Hane and Connect worth around 10 points, as this is a center for the black. If white don't break, don't play this Hane and Connect, black will play this Hane and Connect, and it worth around 10 points. So, White will choose this Hane and Connect when white is very strong around the pincer stone. White would like to be more efficient and get more points at the corner. I have also introduced a uh, professional game which is learning from the Pro Sex Perfect Calculation, a game of Ichili Kilo. Uh, in this game, white also know it's better to play the Hane and Connect. Okay, so I have introduced uh, these two situational Joseki. These two situational Joseki actually is quite seldom to use. Because it's always fine to play the basic form, which is this basic Joseki. In 95%, it will be the first choice. So it's fine not knowing other variations except the basic Joseki, but I think the situational Joseki and also this night move makes sense. So please try it and you may share your experience with us in the comment section. To conclude, we have learned two basic Joseki, this one and also 
this one. Then we also know two situational Joseki, including one that we would like to get a center, which would be the climb to trying to get the center, and also the Hane and Cornet trying to get the points at the corner. In the next episode, I will introduce the check move, which is this Hane. So please like and share this video to support me to make more videos and thank you for watching and see you again.